Hey, beautiful. Let's walk and talk. Walk and talk. I don't know why every time we start a vlog, it's chaotic. I'm the problem. I was editing all day today. You're on the laundry machine, girl. Sorry. I was editing all day today. Today's Friday. Happy Friday. A little dim in here. I'm just throwing all the kids swim. Well, Aiden and Riley swim in the bag. Oh, they need some towels. We're about to go look at a house right now. Well, not a house, a community that is in the works to be built. That sounds weird, but you know what I mean? Let me clean you off. So it's Friday. Like I said, how's everything going? I, ah, I'll bit my tongue. How's everything going? I feel like we don't talk enough. Where are the towels? Mm. Okay, I found some towels. <sighs> okay, yeah, I said we was going to some community to go look at i said a future community to look if they have any homes up yet online they don't have a price but it's in an area that i'm interested in living in where did we last leave off i feel like i don't vlog enough i really don't so last time we talked i didn't have a laundry machine now we do we have some kind of laundry machine situation ship but at the end of the day we have a laundry machine now i'm just turning off all the lights in the house i am rushing because i have one hour before i have to pick up the kids from swim and of course i do everything last minute girl I really want to skip swim today, but that would be irresponsible because I paid for it. One and two, they'll be missing a lesson that they most likely really need. Stick everything in this bag. Anyway, so this morning I was editing, I was calling clients and things like that, and the time flew away from me. And I really want to go look at this community before I get the kids. I also want to go to Sephora or Ulta. Ah, Ulta don't be hitting it for me. Like I can never get any help. Not, let alone most of the Ulta's like in my area be messy, but I can never get any help at all So I that's why I be going to Sephora because I made you walk in girl. You need help what you need at least my Sephora So but my Sephora is like 20 minutes away and it, it's just a whole thing and Ulta is 15 minutes away That don't seem like a lot, but it is a lot <laughs> Okay, that extra five minutes. So I don't know yet what I'm gonna do But let's go to the community and see what they got last time I told you we didn't get the contract We put in another offer and still did not get that contract So so far two times we put in or was it three it could have been three girl so far two to three times we put in for that specific community that i really 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 want to be in this community is about 15 minutes from the largest mall in georgia okay this is the community but we put in three times they have kind of like a lottery waiting system going on and we didn't get it so now i gotta be looking like other options other communities i have to keep it open and i'll talk to you a little bit later why we aren't looking at existing homes so much and more so new construction but for now let's get out because i'm talking too much oh i ain't even gonna lie to you guys this is definitely gonna be expensive what is this um because it's right outside everything oh that look cute i'm gonna go in there and see what it's given yeah it's right outside everything like you know when they have all the stores and stuff sorry my car is loud it's hot ac on period but when you drive inside it's suspect like like suspect like um you gotta be careful you know what i mean you gotta be careful you can't be i can't be we can't be everywhere if you're picking up what I'm putting down, you know? <sighs> but it's definitely outside of everything. Like, you know, all the stores, outlet, mall, right outside. So, yeah. Mm -mm. It's giving little, little woman on the prairie. I'm getting Little Woman on the Prairie vibes. I, mm. Are those chickens? Those are definitely chickens. Okay. In a quarter mile. Okay, we here, we here. Mm. There is nothing here. Nothing, not a model home. Definitely dirt, dirt. Oh, Turn left on there's a price. Lane. Then your destination will be on the right. Okay, there's a price. Not bad. Can't turn it into nothing. Because there's no road. Bro. It's dirt. It's dirt. Head with and you know what's worse? I'm on one of those roads where it's like a long road. Like one lane. 
and you can't just stop but there's a lot of driveways like those long driveways in the country and we don't want to turn into anybody's driveway and pull back or go in and do a u-turn we know 2023 apparently you can't do that no more you can't be pulling into people random driveway and uh, you know try to do a you because mm -mm. the way these pow pow laws are oh low fuel oh oh my god y'all oh i can't turn into this driveway is this a driveway or a road we gonna have to do an illegal u-turn y'all because i'm we we not no no ma'am definitely dirt definitely dirt okay this is different Meredith Homes. Let's go look inside. Child, whoo! The sign says mid 400s, but she's talking about 570. Child, I went to see some homes yesterday. I'll go ahead and insert them here so you guys could see what I saw. It was in the same neighborhood, girl. That oh, braids that I want to get in, but it was like different floor plans. So I insert that here. Okay guys, I'm coming to you with a voiceover. We went to tour some homes this day and this home I'm in now is the Hanover for this community. This home is going for about 407 at the time of filming. The front of the house is the guest room. Look at that closet just for a guest. This was the home that was top on our list. This is a bathroom. It's a guest bathroom and just a bathroom for the home full. And that's a linen closet. So like I was saying, this home is the top of our list. And we really, really want the Hanover home. This is the garage that I'm showing you. It has lots and lots of storage. This is the storage under the stairs. And there's a linen closet in the hallway too. When you first walk in, the first thing you see is that guest room. And then you have that long hallway with that linen closet. And you come into the great room and the kitchen. It has a large kitchen, lots of storage. The island is a little small, but it'll do, girl. It'll do. And I love the color of the floors. It just complements the cabinet so well. And look at that large pantry. Completely, completely walk-in, lots of space. I'm so here for it. And this floor plan is on top of Davidson's list, too. We both agree about this floor plan. Mostly Davidson likes it because the great room is really large. A lot of living space. All of the homes in this community kind of has this electric fireplace. I didn't like it at first, but it's growing on me. I keep seeing these electric fireplaces in other houses, so I'm assuming, I don't know, that's the way they're going to save money and energy. Here is the loft. It is a huge loft. Immediately when you come up the stairs, there's the loft, and then this is a bedroom. This is a large space bedroom, and it also has kind of like a walk-in closet. It's, it's definitely walk-in. You can walk into this closet. Then when you leave this room, it also has storage. I think right outside the door. I'm not sure. I didn't show you a story, so maybe it doesn't. Then it has a bathroom with double sinks, a his and her bathroom with a tub right outside the master suite. There was that closet I was talking about. And then in here is the master bedroom. What I loved about this master bedroom is sometimes they have master bedrooms where it's kind of like, how do I say it? When you put the bed and the TV is kind of off to the bed, but this one was smack dab. You could put the TV in the middle. Here's the double sinks, his and her. And the best part of this specific home is there is a huge, huge walk-in closet i think this is the biggest walk-in closet of all the homes but i'm not completely sure this home is about 2805 2005 square feet for this whole home and look at this closet i was telling you about so spacious so let me show you the other rooms i was talking to you about this is the loft off of the loft is i think this is the third bedroom i'm showing you now the fourth the fourth bedroom i'm showing you and right next to that is the last bedroom the fifth bedroom so this home has five bedrooms three full baths the next home i'm showing you is the roby this home, we were interested in it until I saw all the other floor plans, and this is the last one on my list. Like, 
I don't even want this home, okay? But Davidson was trying to convince me here how great of a home it was. It, it ain't that great. When you first walk in, it's a dining room and a living room together. I don't have a problem with that. My only issue is I don't like to be greeted by a table when I walk in. I just don't. I think it's tacky when you walk in to just be a big table there. That's the first thing I see. I It's just not my preference. Even when they have dedicated dining rooms, I convert them to sitting rooms or something else that's not a table. I, I'm not a fan. I don't know if that's going to change in the future. I'm from Florida. Well, let's just say Miami because Miami is not all Florida. And we just don't be having dining rooms that's just dedicated like it is in the South. But, okay, I know Miami is the South, but it don't be feeling like it because it was a melting pot. I digress. Anyway, so he was just trying to tell me it's such a great home. It's okay. Downstairs is a fifth bedroom. This home, I think, is 2,300 square feet. So they they, they squish a lot a lot into this home because this is a five bedroom three bath home once you go upstairs it barely barely has a loft this is davidson trying to convince me that this is a loft it is not it's a landing space it's not a loft you can add stuff there we can make it work but i was looking for something a little bit bigger this wasn't it this is the master bedroom that closet though that closet though so if i did end up getting this home i wouldn't be mad I wouldn't be mad. I would be okay. You see what I'm talking about? This is where you put the bed and you stand at the bathroom. This ain't it. So this is the bathroom that they have. This house is nice. Don't get me wrong. I just feel that I could get a little bit more if I just put in a little bit more money. Down this hallway is the other bedrooms. That is the laundry room here with a linen closet. And here are the other three bedrooms. They're right next to each other, next to the bathroom, which also has a double sink for the kids. Here's bedroom number one. I didn't walk you in. They all look the same, girl. Bedroom number two and bedroom number three. All average sizes. And this plan is the Roby. This plan is going for 300 and. I think it was 65. I think this is the lowest plan that they have in this community. And yeah, those were all the homes that I toured. Girl, I was like three minutes from an Ulta. And if I passed this Ulta and went all the way to Sephora. Okay, here's the tea. Ulta just be making me mad anyway. But the thing is that I have bought this Stay In Place foundation from Estee Lauder from a long time ago. I don't know if you guys remember. And the first time I bought that foundation, the shade wasn't good. Then I went back, returned it, got another one. That wasn't good. Then I returned it my third time and I was like, okay, we're just going to make this work. Because you got shade matched already by like two different people from Sephora. And this is your shade. But over time, even after it passed the time to return it, I still didn't like it. So I was like, you know what? Let me go on Estee Lauder's website and shade match from the computer. And the computer gave me a whole different shade so i didn't want to give up on it's a lot because i love the foundation i love that the fact that it doesn't sweat it stays in places truly matte and it's just so pretty that i was like you know what i'm gonna try it one last time and get shade matched again i was like maybe i should just come to ota but i'm in an area that's so i'm like should i let them shade match me am i being extra because I ain't feeling like if I walk in there and nobody black, I may just walk right out. Cause, cause the two people that shade match me in Sephora, I ain't pointing no elbows, but the elbows pointing. Oh, maybe I should just go to an Estee Lauder. Am I even saying that right? Estee Lauder, Estee Lauder, Estee Lauder. Um, do you carry Estee Lauder? Yeah, it's right over here. Okay. Yeah, just along that wall. That's all that we carry. What are you looking okay. for? I was looking for the Stay In Place Foundation. Um, so, yes, the Double Wear Stay In Place makeup. Yes, yeah, okay. My problem was I've gotten it twice before. Or it must have been three times. Mm -hmm. And I had to keep returning it because the shade, I wasn't liking the shade I had. Okay. I know we have like the, the Glam Lab if you if you wanted to scan that. Or we could um, sit you down and we could color match you. Could I be color match yeah. um, for it? Okay. Do you feel like the undertone is what's throwing, throwing I think it's it the off? undertone. I think okay. the deep amber is giving me very, very dark Okay. undertone. Okay. So I'm going to try several different undertones. I'm going to try the warm. So the 6.5. 
6W. I'm gonna try the neutral, which am Deep Amber is a neutral. And do you guys take returns? Absolutely, yes. Okay. So yeah, if you get home and you wear it a couple days, to you what you wanna do. Okay, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. So sometimes you'll pick a shade and you think it's your shade, but then it maybe in like a couple minutes later, if you're not like kind of looking at it, it's a lot darker than what you expected. Just because it oh, is- Oh, that's what that, I was noticing. Yeah, it gets a lot darker than what you're thinking. So um, just because it's one of our most oxidizing foundations that we carry, it's a great foundation, but you have to like let it sit there for a minute and like, okay, let me let me wait a minute or two just to see how deep it gets. I'm gonna do a couple swatches on your cheek right in here. Even though it says neutral, it kind of looks a little, looks a little red in it. Right. If you look at my chest, I kind of yeah. have like an orangey or yeah. You have um. Because yeah, my like, face goes in and out, like it'll have dark, but yes. then there's like a yeah, yeah. And everyone's kind of like like it's different areas of her face is like lighter, darker. Like it just has different you know tones to it. So I'm gonna put this one right here, and we just have to let them dry for a second because that's what it does. It it mattifies down, it dries down. So they all look the same to me. Yeah, they they're very similar. I think. The one that I, the six in two is truffle. Do you have the, the deep amber? Yeah, the deep amber I don't like. Okay. It's not horrible, but I'm gonna try it's like a line. tiny bit okay. this noticeable. Okay. This is seven, okay? Okay. This is a seven? Yeah, both of those are sevens, uh -huh. which is what deep amber is well. But those oh. have different undertones than the one you have at home, okay? And the deep amber was a neutral undertone? Yes, yes ma'am. This one is the warm, this is the cool. Oh, okay. okay. And these here, which one of them was mocha? The mo- uh, let me see. The third one. One, two, yes, three. Yes ma'am. Oh god. Yeah. Yeah, this one almost gives off a little bit of a reddish pink. Mm -hmm. I honestly think I like this one. This one is like a little bit, because it has a little bit more warmth, I feel like it's just a little bit lighter. Okay. I'm gonna go to one step up Let's the do deep it. spice. Let's do it. I've made up my mind. All right. Thank you. Yes, you're welcome. Sometimes it Thank just takes so several different things on different areas, because I have to do it too. I'll try it here, I'll try it here. Try I'm here like, yeah. yeah, I'm like, let me walk around, let me see. And so, I don't want to give up on the formula. Yes, yes. So I hope it does work out, but if it doesn't, please bring it back, okay? okay. Thank you so much. Yes, I'm gonna try that one. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Girl, whoo, whoo, baby, Vicky, Vicky at Ulta, baby, Vicky read me, okay, she read me, she said, I do not need to be your skin color in order to do my job, period, okay, I got what I needed, I really think this is gonna work, when I first walked in there, it was what I said, but, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give Vicky a shot, okay? We're about to give Vicky a shot. And she went in depth, took her time, as they always do in Ulta and Sephora. It's just that I'm a Sephora girl and I was just a little prejudiced. But she read me, she did her job, boom, 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 had what I needed, and she was amazing. Even if this don't work, she was amazing, okay? She was amazing, amazing, period. So, let us go. Okay, the AC's on. I'm at this place called Senor Fiesta Mexican Restaurant. I want some street tacos. So let's go on a solo date and get us some. Hi. Table for one. What? Um, inside, right outside? Inside. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure. 
of I am home. I'm just a tad bit irritated. Took the kids to swim, picked them up from school, got them some Zaxby's, had that for dinner. Hubby cooked last night, but they didn't really like it that much because he put green peas in his rice. I haven't tasted it because I'm not a big fan of green peas either. But I guess that's what I'm having for dinner. They requested Zaxby's. Since they had it last night, they didn't really like it. I didn't want to like go through that again. Because we're supposed to be having leftovers. Um, yeah, I was saying I was irritated. I'm irritated because the the on-site agent of that community I was telling you guys about that I really want to get into because it's such a great, great location so far has passed us every time we've put in like an offer to get a contract has passed over us in the lottery like every month and they only release eight homes a month and they've passed over us and the agent has always been telling us oh if anybody fall through we'll let you know we'll let you know apparently someone is due to fall through in my mind i'm like why didn't you just pick this in the first place but whatever it's due to fall through and the loan officer called and was just asking for a whole bunch of paperwork in order to get us through underwriting although we haven't even put a contract on a supposedly fall through home so i'm like okay you need all these paperwork last minute but then we are we you know are we chosen to get a put a contract on the home crickets so it's kind of irritating i'm like why am i sitting here trying to do all this stuff for a loan that I'm not even sure I'm gonna get. I don't know, girl. I don't know, it's kind of irritating because it's six o'clock now, it's still crickets. And this community has been doing this for the longest, y'all. Like, so unorganized, so everything. Unorganized, unprofessional, on everything. I can't change the loan officer because it's new construction. So it's whatever. That loan officer is assigned to that community. So if it was existing homes, I would have been like, bump that loan. loan. I would have been like, bump that loan officer. I'm going to shop around and use my other people that I got approved for. Because when you ask for a pre-approval for a loan, you can use as many companies as you want. And be like, okay, this company approves you for this much. And that company approves you for you. You need to shop around for the best loan, best interest interest rate, best bank. And you need to make sure the loan officer you're working with, you like them, that you can reach them, that they answer emails, they answer texts, they are readily available to help you. This is not the case with this loan officer, y'all. We've been through hell, non-communication, everything, but because we want that specific community and you get the incentives if you go with their lender, we're like stuck with that loan officer. It's so irritating. So, so irritating. And all these past couple of months, I've been looking. I've been looking at other communities and everything. I even have my own loan officer that I preferably like to work with. But whenever you do new construction, they prefer you to go with their lender in order to receive their incentives. So that's where we're at. I'm opening an Amazon package as I talk to you guys. Anyway, feeling like I'm caged in. The kids are playing outside and I want to make sure... They're not under any of the trees because, girl, there's snakes in Georgia. Copperhead snakes, water snakes, there's snakes up here, okay? Anyway, so I'm kind of like low-key irritated and sorry to bring my irritation off on camera. I'm sorry. But yeah, so there's that. And I don't know if I ever explained why we were going new construction and not existing. Is because the homes in our price range, existing homes right now, they're, they're not staying on the shelf. Like, if a home comes out around that price range gone gone yesterday within a couple of hours and then the home you're getting for that price range Mommy, trash Mommy, yeah we don't want to take away the screws echoes we're trying to make it for the counter and we don't want to play with them okay go let him play with one acorn okay okay we don't want to shut the door for me please yeah literal trash you gotta redo the roof you gotta you gotta liam don't put it in your mouth no Get one second. Yeah. Ooh. Just pull the braid. Yeah, sorry. Anyway, the house is trash. You gotta redo roof. You gotta fix stuff, renovate, do all the stuff where you can get a new construction around the same price. You don't have to do as much and at least you get that first year warranty. You know what I mean? So I don't know why it's like that in Georgia where I am, but for some reason it's cheaper to go new construction currently in the price bracket that I'm in. You know what I mean? It's more cost effective, makes more sense. Not that I'm in love with that specific builder because y'all saw those floor plans. It's okay. It, it's okay. It's not giving luxury. It's okay. You know what I mean? It's more than I got. So I'm happy with it. It's okay. It's nice. I'm grateful. I like it. The location just speaks for itself. I'm good. But they just making us... Anyway, so I just opened my first Amazon box 
And I got these. Let me turn off the light so you can see. I got these from Amazon. These are popsicle holders. I love to buy popsicles for the kids. Oh, okay. You know what these look like? You know the straps on the car seat? But this don't have an opening at the end, but it looks like a car seat strap. But look how much they give you in a pack. I'm gonna cut half of this off and share it with someone else because I don't need I don't need that much. I think I'm gonna let the kids use some. Okay, so you take that and you put the popsicle in here. Oh, that's so cute. This is really cute, y'all. This is cute. I like it. I'm gonna give them some so they can use. Anyway, those are popsicle sleeves. And I got this from Amazon too. I'm not gonna take it out the bag. It's a two piece set. Is this try before you buy? No. But it's a two piece green set. I thought it was cute. I think it would be cute. And this is my skin tone. I'll try it when I'm upstairs. Oh, but I like, look at the buttons. Isn't that cute? This is really cute. I'll try it upstairs for you. And I'll also show you what it's supposed to look like on the model. And last package. Okay, I'm gonna give everybody a popsicle. But Here. What? What you that? It's a popsicle holder. <laughs> okay, give me a second, Liam. Here, here. Okay. All right, y'all got a couple more minutes outside. We gotta go upstairs. Okay. Here you go. All right, go ahead. Wait to your brother. Go, Liam. Okay, these popsicle holders, I already started using them. All right, the last thing was to try before you buy from Amazon. Amazon Essentials. So I'm gonna try this on upstairs and show you. I ain't gonna lie, I'll probably show you in the morning because right now, I think I'm about to drink. I think I'm about to drink a Karma because I just fed the kids and it was just my night to feed them, clean the kitchen. I'm about to do that for two loads of laundry and disappear for the night, like literally disappear. Good morning, beautiful. This morning we are at Target. It is Saturday. It is a dreary day. It looks like it's saying it's about to rain, but I don't know because last weekend it said it was going to rain and it was just overcast all day. It didn't rain. But all that to say that I have so much plans with the kids today. But anyway, let's go to Target. We're just picking up a couple of things. Aiden has been asking for homemade pancakes for the longest. I ain't had none. So I took that as an opportunity to head to Target. Mm hmm. Because we always going to find a reason. These beach bags are so cute. $12. Oh, this is really cute. I think I'm going to get it. I want to get Riley some shorts, but these shorts are so short. Like, this is a crouch. And then nothing else here. I don't know. I just feel like it's so short. My baby got junk in her trunk. Mm -mm. I just got these two instead. I don't think these are too bad. And I got one this color and one this color. And I'll just get some more from Old Navy. Okay, I got this one and that one. $5 each with these two um, shorts. I bought these dupes last time in black. They're so comfortable. I'm going to get a white one. Oh, Davidson's favorite coffee. I like this flavor. This flavor. And let's do this one. Oh, can't forget the reason I'm here. Y'all, not Target. Yes, girl. Target. Child, coming on up. Hey, no, 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 no. hey you guys. It's a little bit later. Here's one of the outfits from yesterday. I love the color. I just don't like the way 
it fits it just has a pouch here and it's super high rise which you would think it would be a good thing but it's just super short for my liking because my cellulite is showing here sorry if i'm ashy but i try to pull it down just a little bit like half an inch more and i don't know i just don't like the way it fits it's a nice color though it's cute but y'all see what i was going for it didn't hit like oh this would have been so cute if it would just do what it's supposed to do it's the pants that i'm not really feeling i don't know should i go up a size to see if i go up a size the shirt will go up a size yeah i just this is what i don't like it's uncomfortable yeah it's definitely going back i'm just gonna get a different brand because they sell these are almost everywhere even on shein i do want to say that this material is on point really really good i have a really weird oddly shaped body so this will probably look nice on you like i'm serious it's probably gonna look real good on you my body is shaped weird so i'm gonna link this down below great material y'all really good material kind of lightweight and thick at the same time beautiful color beautiful color okay this is actually cute i'm keeping it all the kids are up from their nap but this is so cute so it's like a frilly sleeve and oh uh, let me do it this way because the light is not showing the true color so it's like a frilly sleeve and the bottom is frilly too and it's from amazon try before you buy it's really really cute it's so soft very very soft pajama i love it this one i'm keeping Hey love, we're getting ready to go on a family outing. I've been hanging out with the kids and editing most of the day. I'm just spraying my braids and using some Cantu Shea Butter. This is for Riley. I literally just stole it to use it <laughs> to moisturize these braids because they're a little frizzy. I ran out of mousse. I did a um, Walmart pickup order, but I'm not gonna have time to go pick it up because I lost track of time. I was editing, so I'm gonna use the Nairobi. Oops, wrap and shine. I don't know if it's gonna work well. Hopefully it does, cause these are so frizzy, girl. So frizzy. So all I'm doing is putting in it in. I think mousse will work better. And then I'm doing this side. Oh, it gets so tangled too. This is human hair that's in it but i don't know the quality of the human hair i don't know if it's 100 percent i do know that the human part hair part was expensive oh i forgot to put a conditioner in this one so a lot of conditioner but i think i'm gonna get these again because they just are perfect for summer this is a lot of conditioner I changed my studs to these, got them from Target. And I think I changed my mind on the, the piece. What I did is went on Amazon, instead of returning the green set, I sized up and see if it will fit better on my thighs. Cause I really love the color and it's such good quality, like I said, such great quality. So I'll keep you, keep you guys updated. And the pajama set, I decided to return it. Cause Skims came out with some nice pajama sets that I want. And I was like, you know what? I'll get those instead. This is probably a bad idea to do this while these are not ears, but yeah, I was saying I'll get these instead. I did my makeup with the the new foundation that I got yesterday, but I had to use the top, the pump from the old foundation. And I think the pump still had some of the old foundation like in the tube. So I don't know if what I'm saying, I don't know if it's mixed up with the old foundation with the new, so I think I'm going to need to wear it a couple of times to get the old foundation completely out before I can really tell if it's my shade or not. Plus it's summer and I got a little darker. So I'm just doing my edges. I'm using Moray's Edge Wax Extreme Hold. It don't be extreme holding nothing. Not my edges. It don't be holding. I'll tell you that. I don't know how to do edges for nothing. Mm. Y'all can see all of my pores. Is this side being a side that I can't get right? See, it don't even soup the right way. Yeah, I don't can't soup for nothing. Mm -mm. I've been struggling with these edges since college. That's a shame. <sighs> shame. Jesus, I adore you. I bless.
Hey you guys, I just realized I never told you guys what we were doing. We're taking the kids to an indoor playground. I think you guys have been to this indoor playground before, but they renovated a girl, so I just wanted to come be nosy. So we're gonna go here. We're supposed to go somewhere else, but it's kind of overcast, and we just decided to just go eat there instead and take them to go play, because they've been inside all day. So yeah, that's what we're gonna go do. I'm gonna show you like the renovations of inside of here. This is our favorite indoor playground. I always recommend indoor playgrounds for like young toddlers. I know my kids are really young and after that we're gonna go eat walk please walk Hopefully I don't get demonetized, but we're at an Indian restaurant called Sankranti Sakranti in Johns Creek, Georgia. Can you hear me? You guys, I forgot to show you guys the food. It's super spicy though. Super spicy. The spicy is a lot. The other ones were too spicy, Riley. So he made us one, hopefully with no spice. Look at this. Pepper, Look at this. Oh, pepper. It's pepper, right? Mm -mm. Hey, love. We're back home. Um, I cleaned up downstairs. We put the kids to sleep. I took a shower, wrapped my braids up. Um, I'm not going to bed right now. I'm about to like do some more editing. But I wanted to tell you, girl, about that restaurant we went to. It was it was good. It was just very, very spicy. To the point where one of the waiters had to be like, okay, look, we're going to go remake it for you and not put as much spices. But girl, when it came out again, it was still spicy. It wasn't as spicy, but it was still spicy. And I'm used to Indian cuisine. I've been to a lot of Indian restaurants over like, you know, my lifetime. And man, first off, when the waiter had came, I asked him for mild. He talking about they don't make mild. There's only medium and spicy. And I'm like, okay, in my mind, I'm like, if you don't make mild and you only make medium and spicy, then I'm assuming your medium is for regular people because that not make sense to me. But you know, I'm not an Indian, so I could just be wrong. And maybe that's authentic culture to have your throat and lips burning like off. I couldn't eat it. Davidson powered through, but I was like, no, um, the kids could eat. I'm like, okay. And then the other waiter came was like, you know what? I'm just gonna have it remade because I think he, I didn't complain, but I think he could see on my face that this weren't it. Like this wasn't it. And he was like, he could make it. I'm like, you could remake it. Like what you mean? Because the first waiter said that there was nothing called mild here. Anyway, I digress. He came back with it and it was eatable and yeah it was like it was so spicy girl you know when the food is so spicy you can't even taste the and, and that's a pet peeve of mine if the food is super spicy where i can't taste like the spices i can't taste the food all i taste is spice we have a problem and first off we weren't even supposed to be there because i had wanted to go to halcyon and alpharetta which is like my favorite spot if you know like if you're from georgia or atlanta or whatever if you're from atlanta and you're familiar with alpharetta avalon then you kind of probably know about Halcyon, but I want, it's kind of like an outdoor space with restaurants and a lot of things. And it has like a market and inside like a market hall where you can go to like a whole bunch of restaurants and stuff. I wanted to go there. But Davidson, like while we was, girl, my arm hurting. While we was in the indoor playground, he was like, oh, I want legging. Le I just want to have to explain everything. If you're not Haitian, if you're Haitian, you know what I'm talking about. But he was like, oh, I, I don't know. I'm feeling in my heart that I want legume. Legume is like a very popular dish in the Haitian culture. Girl, if it's not and you Haitian, please don't come for me. That's what I think it is, okay? It's one of our popular dishes. He talking about he wanted legume. And I'm like, 
boy, you and John's Creek, like, there ain't no legume here. Like, what are you talking about? So as we walking out across the street, we see the restaurant. And I don't want to say the wrong thing. Like, I don't, I don't want to say Indian cuisine matches Haitian cuisine. It doesn't, but a lot of their dishes could like have a lot of things in common with the legume you know what i mean not me tiptoeing around i ain't trying to you know like mess up anybody's culture including my own but <laughs> he was like you know what let's go over there because indian cuisine is the next best thing so i'm like okay bet i love indian cuisine so that's how we ended up there long story short short story long that's how we ended up there and it was good it was good honestly when he came back with it less spicy it was still good i ain't had no problem or whatever but yeah girl i just want to tell you it was spicy that's one reason i got on camera i'm gonna edit oh i wanted to also say i had ordered um some underwear some period underwear from cora period underwear from oh, i was trying to make sure my address on here um some period underwear from cora i just put it in a washer so i should probably take it out because it says not to dry it but if any of you guys use period underwear let me know let me know what brand you use and if you like it because i'm the type of person that i'll try something out for the first time and i'm like oh i ain't like it. Yeah, i'm done and i won't like try another brand or nothing like that like i'm like no no it wasn't good i'm not doing that anymore but this one i kind of want to stick it out because when i be wearing like you know um pads and stuff it'd be really irritating me i'll be changing it stuff it's not it's not my period the menstrual that irritates me it's the, the the pad like i don't know over time i just find that down there is getting more sensitive and i can't be the pad just irritates me i also want to try the cup i've never tried the cup i think next month i'm gonna try the cup anyway y'all let me edit this i'll see you tomorrow hey guys so we came from church went to a birthday party I don't know where to look on this phone, so if I'm looking sideways, yeah, I don't know. Went to a birthday party at lunch. Yeah, I've been to lunch a whole bunch of times, so I didn't take you guys in. I left my camera at home, but we're about to get some lunch. We are at Chili's right now. Are you going to go look at the menu? You know the children? Okay, we're about to get down and go to Chili's, girl. All right, come on. Hubby wants me to go check if there's a wait. I've never been to the Chili's before. So, oh, Miller's L House across the street. Anyway, yeah. Let's go check and see if there's a wait. There's no wait, so let me go help hubby with the kids. Ugh. I don't like vlogging on my phone. You guys, Riley has not been feeling good all day. Well, last night when we came from the restaurant, come here. She had a fever. Um, We didn't find out she had a fever until overnight. And we gave her some Motrin. But girl, I think she needs some more Motrin right now because she has not been feeling good. Wait, Riley, come stand by me. She has not been feeling good, so. Here, mama, put your jacket on. And she's cold because last night she was shivering, like really, really bad shivering. Look at this, mommy. Boys on this side, girls on this side. Look at this. Oh, that's cool. Liam is eating crayons, babe. Thank you. Wow. Ooh, they, got, they got a cheesy chicken pasta for in the kitchen. Did Riley eat it? I don't know. She she doesn't really have an appetite. I haven't been here in a minute. Wait, cheese cheese pizza. Cheese pizza. With a side of fries. Side of fries. Yeah, got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. All right. Hey, bro. Uh, for me, I'll do that uh, delicious looking burger here. The Santa Fe. Alexander. Yes, yes, sir. Liam just literally sat here in tantrums off and on for 10 minutes. They went to the um, store to get Riley some Motrin or Tylenol. <laughs> I want to take her to urgent care. Okay, Bubba. Here. What is it? I'm going to get a few. I'm going to get a few. But he said it's not been that long. Because sometimes, you know, when you go, give me a second. Here. Here, crayon. You know how sometimes you go to a doctor and they just be like, like, you know, has it been 72 hours, blah, 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 since they had um, the fever and stuff. It hasn't been 72 hours back to back, but I feel like the fever has come and gone. I'm going to give it to tomorrow. So he's going to go get her some Motrin and stuff. I'm giving it to her tomorrow. And if she has it again tomorrow, then I'm definitely taking her after school tomorrow or like not even sending her to school.
Hey you guys, before I was editing on my phone, so editing route, put the footage from my phone in this vlog. But I was grass and editing on my phone. I was filming. Liam! I was filming on my phone, so I gotta remember to put the footage from my phone in this vlog. I'm about to take Liam and Aiden in a shower. I've been editing all day. Remind me not to edit and film on the same day because it'll be hot. Okay, and I'll be wanting to talk to y'all and chill and relax, but yeah, I can't do that when I'm. But, but take your pants off. You know what? Stand up. Stand up. I'm gonna take Liam a shower now. Ready? Hey! Yay! <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Okay. You wanna walk? Okay. Go. You can walk. Mommy's well, coming. Mm -hmm. well, it's coming. Start brushing your teeth, Aiden, and I'm gonna come and help you. Time for bed, Baba. You want Mickey? Okay, there you go. Mickey. Oh. Okay, good night. Love you. Bye. Can you help brush your teeth? Yeah, let me uh, let me brush your teeth again. Get on the stool. You guys, you hear this silence? It's the end of the night. I'm about to take my third shower of the day. It is so hot <laughs> in Atlanta. I took a shower at like four when we got home. I went across the street to the neighbor's house. By the time I came back, I was like, mm-mm. We need a second round. I'm about to go to the bathroom, take a shower again, uh, and get in that bed. Cause this week starts my gym routine all over again, and I am messing up. Monday, we being prompt. So the video uploaded is up on the channel. I just gotta do the thumbnail stuff tomorrow. I could not get it up by Sunday, y'all. It's going up Monday. <laughs> by now you saw that video. That's when I let you guys know the contract was rejected. So yeah, update on that by the way. I submitted all the paperwork and crickets. Literal crickets. Like crickets. That community is so, is so disorganized. But it is what it is. I'm not going to stress it anymore. Update on Riley. We just gave her Motrin again before bed. Not that not that she had, not Motrin, we gave her Tylenol. Not that she had another fever, but just as like a preventative. And in the morning, if she's okay, I'm gonna send her to school. If not, I'm gonna just take her to urgent care. But she's gonna be fine. She doesn't have anything major. There's no cold or anything like that. I'm thinking it may just be an ear infection. She has ear tubes in, but I'm not sure. She would have to get checked for me to know. And yeah, I'm thinking it's an ear infection, but if I'm editing this, I'm just gonna put on the screen what it was, if it was anything, and you'll know from there, but I'm sure she's gonna be fine. Any other updates? No, no other updates. My parents are coming in town this week. Yeah, I'll tell you something this week. So in the next vlog, you'll be seeing my parents. And yeah, I'm gonna wrap this up. I'm gonna take me a nice, when I say nice, shower. And we'll talk soon. Bye, you guys.